why do I create these videos? So I've kind of been interested in YouTube for ages and I've always kind of wanted to do something to explore with it. And I did start a channel when I was younger, which I think I've mentioned before, but I kind of got judged for it and I didn't really, you know, I kind of felt really judged and like anxious about that sort of thing. So I kind of stopped. And in the past couple of years, I've had the idea in my mind, but I haven't taken the action to actually do it and commit to it. You know, I have, I think there's been two or three times where I've kind of decided, oh yeah, I'll make YouTube videos. I've started doing them, posted some up and then took, taken them back down. And I think it's important to kind of stick with the process, you know, because then you kind of learn and develop the skills for it. You learn a bit more about yourself what you like and what you don't like rather than just kind of going from one thing to the next. So I create these videos for myself now. I create them because I want to gain clarity on my thoughts, my ideas. I want to get better at articulating my speech and getting my ideas out in a succinct way. And in the past where I stopped doing these videos was when I was trying to provide too much value for other people. I was putting the emphasis on other people. How do I look? If people that I know see me doing this, what are they gonna think? And how can I seem like I know what I'm doing and how can I provide value to other people? And kind of ironically, the, the answer that I found to that was me being authentic to myself and me learning, talking from my experience and from what I've learned and what my ideas and thoughts are and sharing that because through this process I'm kind of giving other people ideas and other kind of things that they might be able to relate to from my stories or from my insights and ideas and that they can kind of tinker with their own kind of thoughts and ideas as well and it's important to also realize that not everyone has the same kind of view or beliefs but um Lots of people are quite similar and lots of people have very similar kind of um, experiences and that sort of thing. And I think I've seen lots of people online, like on YouTube and that recently, that are kind of, they're very similar to me, you know, that we're all kind of like these guys that have, don't really feel like we have a place, you know, we kind of feel like we're um, left out and we're outsiders and we kind of, we feel really introverted, so we find it hard to interact with people and create um, connections with other people and we also find it hard to kind of build our dreams and work on a career that we could do for our lives and earn a living doing these sorts of things because it's so easy to just kind of stay in your room and just kind of coast by easily and I think there's this new movement of people my age you know around their young 20s late teens maybe even mid-teens I'm not quite sure and we're all kind of trying to find our way through it. And I think that it's important for me to kind of show my journey and that this can kind of help other people to kind of find their own way and to also join a community, you know, because if I start sharing my ideas and I've already seen other people that have had similar ideas to me that I've connected to, then we can start building like this community and then, you know, we can help each other solve these ideas and problems together because I think that's such a powerful thing. And that's kind of what I would ideally like to do is bring all these people together because then we're all, there's a different energy, you know, we're not just in our rooms just speaking to a camera or we're not just in our rooms always reading or, you know, wasting time on like just watching YouTube endlessly and just not really getting anywhere in our life. You know, it's important to create this community and we have like this um, like bond that pushes us to do more. And there's people that are doing this already, but it's kind of like they all have like these ideas and set beliefs and they're all kind of in their mid to late 20s or 30s and they don't seem to quite have the same experience that we've had where technology has been such a kind of big part of us growing up and social media and these sorts of things. And I see a lot of them and they haven't really experienced like this loneliness and this isolation and this struggle to get through it and I think it's important for me to document me going through this and building up from here because a lot of 
of people haven't shown that and I think it kind of needs to be shown so then other people can kind of see that you know there's a better way to live life and we don't have to be all alone in our rooms constantly chronically online and that you know we can start to build this community and find our people online because this is the great thing about being online we can all find each other and connect to the people that we actually like and we connect with you know we don't have to go through finding all these people and kind of dealing with people that we don't like although that's a part of normal life and we do have to kind of deal with that to some extent we can kind of eat more easily just find the people that we truly and deeply like connect with online and that's kind of my goal with this so thank you for watching if you did um, like and subscribe leave a comment if you'd like to and see you in the next video